Next, it was a child's imagination that got him in trouble. Second grader is suspended for pretending an everyday object was a gun. Some say the Suffolk school system took its zero tolerance policy too far. Only 10 on your side's Ann McNamara talked to the boy and school administrators. Ann? Tom, seven year old Christopher wasn't playing with a real weapon. He was just playing with his pencil. He pointed it at a friend during class, and today I asked him to show me the action that got him suspended. And what is that that you're doing? A machine gun noise. Seven year old Christopher Marshall pretended a pencil was a machine gun, and now he's sitting at home suspended from the second grade. He's just being a typical boy. You're taking away his imagination. Christopher's father, a former Marine, says the school overreacted. It's gone too far. Enough is enough. I mean, where do we draw the line? You know, I mean, um, a pencil. I mean, was it sharpened? Was it not? Is it a number two? I mean, what, what's the big deal? You know, I mean, he's just being a kid. A spokesperson says the school has a zero tolerance policy when it comes to weapons, and a pencil can be considered one. A pencil is a weapon when it's pointed at someone in a threatening way and gun noises are made. I was playing, I'm sorry, and stuff. Christopher will tell you he was pretending to be a Marine, just like Dad, not trying to scare anyone. Some children would consider it threatening, who are, you know, are scared about um, shootings in schools or shootings in the community. There's going to pe be people that are overly sensitive because, because of what has happened, but you also have to bring what used to be called common sense into play. And in playtime, Christopher won't be doing this <laughs> anymore. By the way, Christopher had good grades, never was a problem in class before. He's suspended for two days. He could have been suspended for as many as 10. The school system evaluates every situation differently. Age, good standing can lessen the punishment. I'm Ann McNamara, 10 on your side. And to see the discipline referral from the school, you can go to wavy.com. You can also join the discussion at the bottom of this story.